Welcome to my channel. Susan's just making it. I'm Susan, and as always, I'm here making stuff, messes, chaos, and just trying to make it through life. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if this is your first time watching, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing amazing today. And if you like today's video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. It helps my channel, and it means a lot to me. So today's video is another Extreme Bargain Bins haul, and this is a $2 day haul. But before I get into showing you what I picked up, I wanted to um, touch on a couple things real quick before I get into the video. The first thing I want to mention is I did a video, I'm not sure if it's going up before or after this one, probably before this one, where I tried out another eyeshadow palette from Timu. And um, just sharing my opinion, I mentioned that I really, really liked the way that it performed. It blended well, the color and everything, and it's the eyeshadow look that I have on today. And this is the palette I used. For those of you that may not have seen the video, it's the Retro Palette. Bought this off Timu, it cost me $1.30. $1.30. This is the look I created, which I'm very happy with. I really like the way it turned out. And this is the palette, for those of you that may not have seen the video, gorgeous palette. And I just wanted to mention, the reason I'm bringing this up is that I did this look about eight hours ago, and this is how it held up. It looks just as good as when I first did the look. So for those of you that were curious about the performance of these palettes, um, the other one I used, it was okay, but I wasn't super impressed. This one I am absolutely in love with. I'm in love with the colors. And like I said, this is eight hours later, guys, eight hours later. I think I'm going, I'm going to be putting in another Timu order over the next couple of days. And I think I'm going to, if they still have this for $1.30, I'm going to tack a couple on so I can share them. Um, amazing. Amazing. If you like like pinks and purples and stuff, you have to buy this if you order something from Timu. So that's that. I'm not getting anything for sharing my opinion. I just share how I feel about things. If I like something, I'll tell you I like it. If I don't like it, I'm going to tell you I don't like it. Amazing. So before I get into the haul, I did want to share some friend mail that I got in the mail today. A couple, I'm assuming, Christmas cards. <laughs> um, one of them is from one of my subscribers, um, Michelle Travliago. I hope I did not mispronounce your last name. If I did, I'm very sorry. And the other one is from Janet. So I'm going to go ahead and open these real quick before I get into the haul because they've been sitting here on the table since the mail came and I've been just trying to batch record. This is the last video I'm doing today and then I'm, gonna, I'm done. I'm done for the day. I'm tired, but I just wanted to get all this recorded, but I've been wanting to open them because I really do appreciate um, this more than you know. Um, I got my wall started here and I'll add them as I get them. And one thing I do want to say is that all the cards I got so far is from my YouTube family. You guys really mean more to me than you know. And I know it sounds corny and other creators have said it, but you have no idea like how much the sense of community like really helps. And it does mean a lot to me. And all the cards I got from my YouTube people. So I love you guys. Um, Merry Christmas. A little dog is so cute. And it, oh, she put a recipe in. Irresistible brownies. Better hide that. <laughs> We're going to be like, Mom, you going to make them? Mom, you going to make them? And this is from um, Michelle. This card is from Michelle. Dear Sue, wishing you all of your favorite things this season wrapped in love and happiness. Merry Christmas and happy, healthy new year to you and your family. Um, your YouTube friend, Michelle. So, it's really nice. But yeah, if my family sees this recipe, they're going to be hounding me. When are you going to make them? When are you going to make them? So, I will probably try them out because... They look good. So there's that card. Thank you very much, Michelle. I really appreciate it. And um, actually, I just finished um, getting cards ready, so I'm sending out another batch probably tomorrow. The one in the mail. So, and this is from Janet. Janet is so good to me. She really is. She's amazing. I love her. So let's see if I can get this open without rushing it too much. And then um, by the next time you watch videos, which there's gonna be a ton going out from this from today but the next time I sit down to actually record they'll be back up on my wall so let's see this is kind of bulky for our card it looks cute she put winter bucket list um, make your winter special and then a Merry Christmas 
I can't see this without my glasses, but it looks like a silly Santa and reindeer on there. So, the card is beautiful. It's got my little deer. It's got my deer on it. It says peace on earth. And, oh, that's why it's so bulky. And she put stickers on there. It's like a whole little living room. So cute. Um, hi, Susan. I'm sorry this card seems so plain inside. That's why I created <laughs> a sign in sign collection. <laughs> um, realistically, I just wanted to try to match your holiday color theme. Oh yeah, the green and brown. This is the best I could do for my collection. Happy holidays, love Janet. He did awesome. It's so cute. The little game. It's got a little game there. Rug and a pillow. It's cute. I like it. Love this card with a deer. Really pretty. And this is why it was so bulky. I'm like, why is it, it feels thick for a card? ornament happy holidays and she signed it this really means a lot to me because um you know next year when i get my stuff out and see it it's gonna make me smile thank you janet appreciate it so i got two more cards to add to my wall it's so exciting so friend mail is always nice it does mean a lot to me so i'm gonna go ahead and get into the two dollar haul because i'm tired and that's what you guys clicked on to see <laughs> So I'm going to bring my little bench closer. So everything that you're going to see today, I pay $2 for. So, um, I don't know where to, well, I was going to get that out, but other stuff's clogging it. So I got some stickers, a pack of stickers. I didn't open them and look, and I didn't have my glasses on, because usually the little um, sticker that they have on the package is a little bit of a description, but I didn't have my glasses on. Now, um, $2.00. Even $2 is a good deal because the, I don't know how many pieces is in here, I can't see it, but sometimes they're 50 or 100 pieces. If you buy these stickers on Amazon, they're not a dollar or $2, they're more like five, six, seven, eight, and up. So, but I didn't realize until I um, got them home and opened them, and they're all like nursing stickers. So there's scrubs, we've got the, you can do it and um stethoscope uh let's see what else we have here just going to show a few like a surgeon um trust me i'm a nurse um you know really pretty so i didn't realize they were all nursing stickers i like to pick up the stickers because i like to put them on friend mail and whenever i send packages whether it's um friend mail giveaway something i saw on macari i always put stickers on it i would like to think that when a postal carrier see something like that maybe it gives them a little you know they get a little chuckle out of it um instead of just a boring cardboard box but this is going to stick, so it's going to take me a minute to get them back in. But, like I said, I didn't realize they were nurse theme, but I know somebody that I can share these with that will appreciate them. So, it's all good. So, I'll put them back in the package when I get a minute. So, I also picked up, let's see if I can get them out of here. I bought one in another haul that I showed, but they had a couple more. I picked them up, the little kabuki brushes, and they're with the, like, the blush paint candle. So... Um, I have one, but I'm going to share these in like giveaway or friend mail. So I picked up a couple of those. And then I picked up some eyelash um, glue. I have a lot of lashes and I am going to keep some. I'm going to keep trying until I get it right. But I picked this up because if I decide to send a few lashes in a giveaway or friend mail or share them with somebody, I can um, give them some glue. Oh, let's see what else we got. Another one of the retinol serums. Two dollars, and I nice. can't beat it. Let's see. Oh, it sounds like trouble's on the way. And then I picked this up. It says there's. I was trying to see how many pieces. 100 pieces. They're just um, gift tags. I don't know if I dare to open it, but I'll probably drop them. But they're just little craft gift circle gift tags, and it's got the little jute pieces. So got those. Um, paintbrush. Um, one and a half inch Amazon Basics paintbrush. I try to um, pick them up when I find a good deal. I have a whole bin that's all my painting supplies, my painter's tape, my brushes, my rags, um, the keys to open it, all that stuff together. So I'll put that in there. Um, I think I got two of these. I'm not seeing the other one right off. Yeah, here it is. 
um, two more packages of the canning lids. I keep picking them, picking them up because I can use them for canning and I've seen so many craft projects using these. So I try to pick them up when I see them. Uh, let's see what else I got. I got one of the um, cleaning gels. I got one another in another haul, but I went. They had a couple of them, but I just picked up one because they're really good for like cracks and crevices. You get your gel and you and get all that dust that you can't reach with like a vacuum or a duster. So I got that. I, there's certain things I'm like, how does the dust get in there, and now how do I get it out? Well, I'm gonna try the cleaning balm. I also picked this up. It's like a little keychain type. Oh, it's stapled on there. I can probably get it out. There we go. It's like a, um, it's got the keychain on it, and it's got the clip on it, so you can put your keys, and then you can hook it on something. And it's got all the little pearls, and then it's got this bow that's like a pink glittery. Now I have a, a bag that I actually the one I'm using now, and the little zipper pull thing came off, so it's kind of hard because I got the little zipper thing, and I thought maybe I could hook this on there, so I actually have something to grab when I want to zip and unzip my purse, because it's hard with that little tiny piece. So. Oh, that was cute and I'll probably hook that on there and then I got a little set of nails I'm not sure how good a quality they are but for a couple of dollars I'll either try them or share them I'll see I got some um, metallic butterfly stickers and I wasn't sure if I was going to get these. I almost passed over. I'm like, yeah, big deal. They're butterfly stickers. They're silver. But then I kind of looked in the side of the package. There is actually, let's see if I get the count right. I think there's five. No, there's four. Four packages in here. Four of these. And, yeah, four. And each, it doesn't say how many is in each, but you can see there's quite a few in there. So even if I keep one or two for myself, there's already one person in mind that I'm, are they different? It looks like there's two different kinds in here. We've got these that are more lacy. Sorry about the glare. And then these ones that are a little bit more solid. So even if I keep like one pack of each for myself, because you guys know I love butterflies. So even if I keep a couple packs for myself, I have a couple that I can share. And I have someone right off the top of my head that I'm going to send at least one of these packages to. So I've got those. Sound like somebody's coming up the stairs. Maybe, maybe not. I got a, I picked up a couple of these. I don't know how good they're gonna work. We'll see. Um, teeth whitening pens. I'll try them. If they if they're crappy, I don't know. But you don't know unless you try. And then I got another paintbrush. This one's like this is more like for trim or something. Um, this is more for actual painting, but I'm still gonna use it for like trim because I don't paint. I have no artistic talent. Crafty, no artistic talent. And this is actually a Bob Ross paintbrush. And it feels really good in your hands. It's more of a circular. I hear Harley. She's over here getting into all this stuff. A circular handle and it's tapered there. So it probably feels very comfortable in your hand. So I got this. And she's about to find some trouble. And then I picked this up. I don't know if it says how many. Sorry about the noise. Beat it. Beat it. It's a whole roll of stickers. And they're all Halloween stickers. Which we're already past Halloween. But next year. These will be really nice to put on um, packages and cards and stuff. Whole roll of them. Pretty good size roll. Too bad I didn't find it before Halloween, <laughs> but it's all good. And then, I don't know where she went, but she's looking for something again too. A drawer pull. I always pick these up when I find them there. Yeah, they're all mismatchy and stuff, but cabinet hardware is really expensive when you go to Lowe's and even Walmart for that matter. So I just picked them up. Because even though they're mismatching, obviously I'd want them matching if I did like a dresser or something like that. But sometimes you can find a piece of furniture that only needs like one or two um, pulls or knobs. And um, I even have like a wood box that I bought, um, like thrifted, and I painted it and I put, um, does it have a pull? Yeah, it has a pull on it and it just dresses it up. I mean, I don't obviously use it, it's just a wood box, but it makes it look much nicer. So, pick that up. Then I have, I got two packs of these. 
I'll open one of them if I can open it easy. I found a couple of them and they are bag inside of a bag, which is good because this bag is ripped open. They're um the curtain rings with the little hooks. So if you have like um, curtain panels that don't have the grommet holes or something, you just clip them here. And a lot of people will use like different types of fabric and just use these. Then you don't have to have a rod pocket or the um, the grommets. And I got these because they're also handy. Um, not so much here because I don't like to do a lot of damage because I rent. But I was always thinking for my craft room, I can take a towel bar and I could probably find spray paint that's similar if I want it to match and hook it to the wall. Obviously, I would put this on first because there's no opening. But take a towel bar, slide a handful of these on and attach it to the wall and then I can clip like um, sticker packs and different things like that, die cut packs and have them hung up where I can get to them easily. Um, actually, these clips are small but sometimes you can find these curtain rings with um, bigger clips and someone asked me about how to organize ball caps and I saw this idea on Pinterest so it's not an entirely original idea but it's the same type of thing you get like a towel bar or something like that and you um, put these rings on obviously you would probably want a bigger clip and then you just clip the ball caps on that and then it's easy you just unclip it when you want to use it and when you're done you just clip it back up at the store so this is an idea for anybody that can use the idea so I'll put them back in the package in a minute. And then I got these. Now these do not match with my decor because as I've mentioned in other videos, I have like cool colors in my house, except this and this room and my bedroom have, you know, touches of pink in it. But my home is like green, blues, teals, and the neutral I have is gray, mostly in my house. So these do not match my decor, but they're pretty. I saw one of them the day before on $3 day, but I'm like, Mm, I don't know but then when I went the next day and it was two dollar day and I saw that there were two of them to make a pair and they're not dirty or mushed up they're not in a box but they're not damaged so I thought I could get these and these would make a nice gift or to possibly put on Macari but um you know they're beautiful I mean I like them they just don't fit in with my decor if I had warmer tones that would be perfect I mean they're really really pretty and they're like they're just a canvas stretch canvas so four dollars for the set I can either um gift them or I will put them on my Macari but happy to have them for four dollars for the set so there's that I'll put all the stuff in the bag till I can put it away I film I recorded today tomorrow's gonna be putting everything away because it's getting later in the evening now so I found a couple more flags yes I'm getting addicted to them like I said, I'm going to go through all the flags that I've um, collected and save one for each season and the other I share. I've been, you know, sending them out. I sent one out today in a package. I sent one out not too long ago in a package, so I've been sharing them. If I think, you know, a particular person would like one, I include it. So I'm not going to take this one out because it's making too, it'll make too much noise, but it says it's five o'clock somewhere with a welcome and it's got the purple toucan and it's got you know your tropical drink I thought that was really cute I saw they had a couple of these floating around and then I passed by them I'm like you know what I'm gonna get it it's cute and then this one I'm tempted to open I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and open this one because I'm curious myself and Harley's curious because she has a plastic and she wants to get a pair like really bad so you may see her before the video is over because this is a time of evening that is her time that she wants her attention and she's harassing me because she wants my attention so she might jump up here so there's two in here okay that's what i thought there's there are two flags halloween we've got trick or treat which eh, it's okay she's she's very curious and this one's stinking cute halloween with the cat and the ghost and the pumpkin i like this one a lot so that was like a twofer so they were a dollar a piece because it was in the package together and I will put them back in because I don't want to make a lot of noise and take a lot of time. Come here, Harley. Come on, Mama. She's under my chair. Come on. She wants to jump up here. Come on. Where'd you go? Come here, Mama. Pick her up. She's getting fat. 
she wants to be up here with me. She's usually gets up here and hangs out with me in the evening. She's my best friend in the morning when I first get up and in the evening when I'm winding down for the night. It's, it's her time and she's not very happy that she's not getting her attention. So I'm going to put her down because there's not room up here like there usually is. And she's going to have to deal with it until I'm done recording this video and then I'll give her her attention. She's like, it's my time, it's my time. So I found another baby shower game, Scategories. And you have five minutes to fill in the blanks with a word that begins with each letter. Whoever gets the most um, unique words wins. So I'm going to put that in there with the other baby shower games for those guys. Um, gratitude journal. Um, five minutes a day to develop gratitude, mindfulness, and productivity. She's getting into everything. So, she's got all these writing prompts. And I'm trying to make it quick because she really wants attention. Um, the caregiver in you, inspirational thoughts, and artwork. So, I'm going to, um, originally I got this to beat it. <laughs> she's like, bad attention is attention. Um, Originally I got this because I wanted to use the artwork out of it, but I'll probably read it first and then um, I'll use the artwork probably. But I thought some of these images would be gorgeous to put in some of my journals that I make. Um, the, the the artwork in here is really pretty. Like even if I wanted to like make tags with the smaller ones, I mean, isn't this gorgeous? These would look beautiful in my journals and stuff really pretty that's what caught my eye first but then once I kind of um, read a couple pages once I got home and was leafing through it I'm like yeah maybe I'll just read it first yeah that's a pretty page I already showed it is a little bit beat up but that's not going to affect the, the, the um, reading material but yeah the images are just beautiful there's another one I think these would look really nice in a journal really bright colors and stuff so that's why I picked that up. Then I have, I've been talking about getting like the canning lids and they had a couple of these so I picked one up. It's the, um, you know, the like tires, um, I don't know what you call it, my mind's not working, but to pick up the jars out of the canning water. And then it's got the funnel, it's a collapsible funnel to pour your stuff into the jars. And I do have a canning set. I have my um, enamelware pot and it came with all this stuff, but I figured it wouldn't hurt to have a backup set. Um, so I got those because for $2, they cost more than that. And then I got, oh, there's a couple things I'm leaving kind of to last because they kind of go together. So this, here's this box and it's really heavy. Now, I may change these up a little bit because they look kind of like cheapy, so I might fix them up. But when we were there on $3 day, my sister and I saw this floating around the bin, and this is dirty. It's been in the bin. People touched it, spilled stuff on it. No big deal. I can wipe it off. But this was floating around. I'm like, oh, like a green pumpkin? That's kind of strange. And with an A, I'm like, I wonder if there were more in there just like you get your initial. And we didn't think much of it. I'm like, yeah, whatever. It's cute didn't think much of it kind of it's just um flat no dimension to it. it's just flatly painted but when I went the next day which is even better yet because it was two dollar day I found a box and guess what it had in it the other letters I don't know how the A got separated but tissue paper she'll find it wreck it but we have the F and the two L's so we have orange red this is like a brown or whatever. So it spells out fall. I'm like, two bucks for the whole? But, I mean, I don't know. I always have more projects that I can do. So I'm going to clean them up. And, you know, I might keep them as is. I don't know. I really don't care for them as is. But I was thinking that if I painted them, and if I still wanted them to spell out fall, maybe I could find um, wood letters wooden letters and stain them and then glue them on so that way I could paint them the color that works for me like I could use more fall colors like shades of orange maybe put you know some browns or whatever 
don't know, I could come up with four colors that were more fall and to my liking and paint them. And then, like I said, get the wood letters, stain them and glue them on. And then that way they'd have the dimension with the glued on letters. That's what I'm thinking. Am I just making more work for myself by altering them? I don't know. It makes more work, but sometimes it's more worth it because, I mean, they're cute, but they're like cheesy a little bit. I think that I could bump up the look of them where they would look a little bit more high end. Like these, the way they are, I don't know that I'd be overly crazy about putting them out. They're not my taste. They just look like dollar store type stuff. I think with a paint job and some dimension, whole nother level. So, I don't know. We'll see. And then the last thing I got, <laughs> you guys are going to be like, you're crazy. I showed this in a haul already that I got one of these. And I paid $2 for what I bought. But they had another one. My sister's like, look, they got another one. I'm like, yeah, okay. She goes, do you want it? I'm like, I already bought one. She goes, well, if you want a set, like to put them in two different spots. And I'm like, you know what? I'll take it. So when I decorate for Halloween, I can either have both of them and put them in two different locations or I can keep one for myself and share it. Like if somebody happens to come over and they think it's cute and wants it for $2, I'll give it. That you can have it, you know? And, but you know what? Oh, this one doesn't seem to be working. So, I'm, oh, through, through then. It's got the little tab you got to pull out for it to work, which I'm not going to. I'm not gonna I'll leave it in there for now but I'm like it's not working I, the tab needs to be pulled out but it change it blinks and it um changes colors so if you haven't seen that video but I'm not gonna take the tab up tag out because it's brand new so yeah I'll either put them in two different places or I'll share one and this this is one of those the kid in me came out because did I need it no is it a little ridiculous and a waste of money probably but I got them just because they were fun. And I looked at them and I'm like, Susan, just leave them there. You don't need those. Wait for somebody who has kids to buy them. But I couldn't resist. I got them. Next Halloween. <laughs> they may just, if I do giveaways around Halloween, one of these may just end up in your box if you win. They're bobbleheads. They're Halloween bobbleheads. But you want to know the cute part? And like I said, $2. So they're what, 50 cents a piece? They light up and flash. So come on guys, I had to get them. And I was gonna try to take them out so you could see them, but they're tanks pretty good and I know this makes so much noise on camera. So I apologize. I probably could have done this before I sat on the record, my bad. But anyway, I, I just gotta take one out to show you guys. Or all of them. Oh, so they're individually wrapped, so it would be okay if I take them out. So we've got the clown. Creepy looking clown. Oh, come on, man. They're cute. They're fun. Then we have a Frankenstein. If it was darker in here, they would show up much better. But We've got like a purple mummy. With some of his um, brains coming out. Yeah. And, and they all work. I tried them when they were in the pack. Yeah. Then we have the little jack-o'-lantern guy, and he flashes too. And come on, man, you cannot tell me these are not fun. You can't tell me. So, like, if I happen to see my grandson, I'll probably let him take one. I've been trying to get a hold of his mother so I can see him before the holiday, but I haven't had much luck. But um, yeah, these will be really fun to put in a giveaway next year around Halloween. Tell me you wouldn't like to get one of these. They're kind of cool. You go, you could share them with a grandkid, a you know, a niece, nephew. And I'm still looking, yeah, they all do. And I'm um, just noticing that they have like a little hole, like all of them do. I was just looking to see if they all do. So that'd be cool, like if you wanted to um, put a string or something, if you gave it to a child and they wanted to put it like on their backpack on the zipper or something like that. So, yeah. Did I eat them? No. But they were cute. And for $2 for four of them, yeah, big deal. I think these would be fun to get in a friend mail or something like that. And if you don't like them, give them to a kid. Or if you're a big kid, give them for yourself. So anyway, that is the last of my $2 haul from Extreme Bargain Bins. Um, I thought that I did a pretty good haul. It's, a, it's like an eccentric mix of things. <laughs> but $2 day, good deals. Um, 
that's her. Um, two dollars a piece. Like this, this um, set of pumpkins has a sale for two bucks. Whether I keep them as is or alter them, that's a really good deal. In the sky. I mean, are you going to go into a store and pick this little ghost up for two dollars? I doubt it. I thought that was a good deal too. So that's my two dollar day haul. Thanks again to Janet and Michelle for my Christmas cards. I really appreciate it. And again, Timu Palette has held up for eight plus hours. Looks the same as when I first put it on. So if that's not a wear test, I don't know what is. I mean, so you have longer days than eight hours, but I'm impressed. A lot of times by two or three hours, it's already, you know, eyeshadow in general is starting to show that it's been there a while. It's not as vibrant and starting to wear off. But this, I'm impressed. It looks as good as when I first put it on earlier today. So, a lot of, I know a lot of people were curious about the performance. There you go. That's my opinion. And I'm impressed. $1.30. Good stuff. So, I appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. If you stayed to the end, you're such a trooper. And until the next video, bye everyone.